We're in Kokomo, Indiana. It is cold, freezing, raining, but that's not gonna stop us from toy hunting at Kokomo Toys. Uh, one of the best toy stores I've been to. They have a big selection of toys. One of the biggest I've seen. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's raining, it's cold, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of toy hunting. Hopefully we could find something to take home uh, for the collection and uh, what's going on over here. Yeah. And make sure you subscribe to SoCal Shallot. Ooh, <laughs> all right. Thanks for the support. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of the, the cold, go inside. Uh, it's a great store. They have lots of stuff. Uh, they're also on the Amazon Prime TV show, a Big Toy Store Near You. Check out their episode if you wanna learn more about the history of their toy store, how it got started. But right now we're gonna go get up. We're gonna go in there, do a little toy hunting. So come on and join us. Here we have a couple of AT-ATs and right next to that is the NECA display for your action figures. It's a cool street scene there. And then right here is the iconic lamp from a Christmas story movie. Here we have a couple of places and vehicles. Ninja Turtles from the Nickelodeon cartoon that came out in the mid 2000s. And then here we have a whole bunch of cool little knickknacks and souvenirs. We got some t-shirts, some pins, we got some magnets, toys that made us. I believe that was on Netflix. Here my son is checking out this book called Rad Plastic. I flipped through it and it was pretty amazing. It's pretty much your guide for vintage Ninja Turtle figures. 60 bucks, but I think it's worth it. Almost reminds me of that book that Pixel Dan did for the Masters of the Universe. So it's the same kind of thing but for Ninja Turtles. And then you can see here, you got a lot of pegs full of action figures. Mostly modern, but there are some vintage stuff like these 90s Predators. And then we'll see like these aliens as well. But yeah, I mean, they got tons of stuff here. You got Masters of the Universe Origins, Masterverse, you got some NECA stuff there. You got Gremlins, just so much stuff. You even got Mario Brothers. Like I said, this store has vintage all the way to modern. So you'll definitely have a great selection here for, for any collector. You'll find something you're looking for. Here we got some cataloging dinosaurs. I always see the human figures. I never see the dinosaur figures. Dick Tracy's in the back. Some of the villains there. Over here by the window display, we got a couple of WWE wrestling rings. And that uh, Ewok Village is dope. Love that thing. And the Metlar. I recently picked up one of those Metlars from Inhumanoids in my Refire Relics video. And then there we just passed up the Rambo playset. So lots of cool toys here in the window. And check out this blimp. It's not the original blimp. This is probably the blimp. The second version of the blimp. And then the Star Wars section is probably the biggest section they have here at Kokomo Toys. You gotta have Power of the Force, but they even have Episode 1 and some stuff uh, from like Episode 3 as well. And then over here we got some of the other a little more pricier figures like Vintage Collection and then but up top this is what's most impressive right here. Check out all these boxed vehicles, play sets, the Ewok Family Hut. That's a great one. Glad we have that one in our collection. But man, check out all these Death Stars places. That's one that is on my list to pick up. As well as those troop transports there. But man, just, and the Imperial Shuttle. That's a holy grail up there. Very expensive vehicle for the Star Wars line. But man, all those in box. It's nuts. Okay, here we have the wrestling section. The loose wrestling section. I don't collect LJNs, but they're awesome to look at. Even got some modern stuff there. Up here is the Hasbros. That's what I was interested in. I had most of these in here, except for the Shawn Michaels. I don't have Shawn Michaels yet. 
So I was definitely interested in this Shawn Michaels figure. But as you can see here, there's a big chunk of plastic missing from his head. I guess Brutus Barber Beefcake got to him after he super kicked him. He got to him with those, those big old scissors, chomped off his, part of his hair. Here's a very impressive Super 7 Snake Mountain. I think it's so cool to see in person. It's super huge, really big place at there. This is the section at Kokomo Toys where you're going to find the deals at the loose baggy section. Here I was checking out these mask figures. So I was interested in getting those. But ultimately, I passed. Peter Juice is another line I'm trying to pick up. Here we got some Police Academy figures. Those are cool. Another line I want to get into. But as you can see here, tons of loose figures. Lots of the bags here also have multiple figures. So you're getting like, like bundle deals already. But just look at the amount of figures I have here. Those are the bargain loose figures. Now we're getting into the showcase. This is where you get some of the pricier the figures. And as you can see, they have so much stuff. They just pile it up on top of each other. So it's kind of hard to see unless you're here in person. But hopefully you guys can kind of get an idea of what I was looking at uh, hunting here at this store. Here we got G.I. Joe's. Always am a big fan of Joe. I just haven't picked any up. Here we got like a pile of prototypes, looks like it. And then here we have more G.I. Joe's, tons of G.I. Joe's. And now we're getting to the Transformer section. Lots of cool Transformers here. Another toy line I want to get into definitely would be the G1. A couple of the G1 figures I want to pick up. Tons of Transformers. I know there's lots of Transformers collectors that watch the channel. So hopefully uh, I showed you some stuff that you guys were excited to see. And here we have the Ninja Turtle section. Lots of carded stuff as well as loose stuff as well. You see a huge variety. Man, you just see piles and piles of bagged up figures. You even got some Toxic Crusaders there. Those are cool to see. Now this figure right here coming up, $20 for that uh, female from Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time movie. I definitely missed that. Otherwise, I would have picked it up. It's $20, not a very popular wanted character, but for $20, a carded turtle figure, I should have picked that one up. Here we got some Flash Gordon figures. Lots of them on card. Here's a Crash Cycle from Police Academy. And then Jurassic Park. I know lots of you guys love Jurassic Park as well. Their collection wasn't that huge, but they did have some good pieces. Here we got some uh, Thundercats. There's a Stinger right there for $800. I don't know if you guys saw him. Very rare figure right there. Holy grail, definitely for Thundercats collectors. Lots of muscle, lots of bagged up muscle. And then more play sets. I mean, the amount of play sets and vehicles and boxes this store has is insane you can see they're just stacked up on top of each other we just passed up a bunch of good ones what do we have here we got some captain power crash dummies some ninja turtles a techno drone and sewer playset and <laughs> android crank body all in box insane this is the master universe section just check out the amount of stuff they have you got some of the rare ones there, like the Powers of Grayskull, the T-Rex, and like I said before, the Star Wars section is probably the biggest section they have here. And I'm talking from vintage to modern. They got more Star Wars than anything, but lots of lots of stuff here. Lots of figures you can army build, get yourself some soldiers. You got some 12 inch figures down there. A line that I recently started co collecting and I'm loving. Hopefully I can find a few more 
to complete it. I'm not trying to get every single one. But here we got that display stand, 1250. Has the first 12 figures. Couple of Ghostbusters here as well. That State Puff plush doll is awesome. Dungeons and Dragons, another line I'm slowly getting into. But I'd much rather get stuff like this, like Mask. Mask is on the, on the top of the list of toy lines I'm looking out for. I'm loving collecting Mask and definitely gonna be looking out for deals on those as I go toy hunting this year. I hope everyone enjoyed this look at Kogamo Toys. You're definitely not gonna get a sense of what how this store is by this video alone. It's just a small sample of it. But definitely, uh, if you live near or go visit anywhere near Kokomo, definitely check them out. It's an awesome store, at least to check out once. We are out of Kokomo Toys. We're undercover because it's raining and the storm's about to come down. But we did pick up a few items. Nothing crazy, just a few little things to add to the collection, right? You happy with choices? I am too. We didn't, like I said, we didn't buy too much stuff, but we'll show you when we get home what our pickups were. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Holland merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, black, or any other color that's available here for your liking. We'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs I had made for conventions like the ones you see here and even have stuff for the ladies and check back often as I'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time merch store link in the description below to order your SCS logo shirts today always cool to go back to Kokomo toys that store is awesome as you saw in the video they have lots of toy lines they have like pretty much any toy line you can think of from the 80s and they got all the way up to the modern and even some uh, before the 80s, 60s and 70s uh, it's an awesome store they got a lot of foot traffic it's a well-known store if you're a toy collector you probably heard of them already and they're also on the amazon prime tv series a toy store near near you and so yeah so they get a lot of visitors and that kind of influences the prices a little bit because some things do tend to be high but you can still kind of find deals there if you're willing to look around and search uh especially down the aisle where all the loose figures are. You can get lots of good deals there and that's pretty much what I picked up today. I always try to pick up at least one thing when I go toy hunting at these stores, even if it's something real cheap and small. I, I gotta leave with something, you know, no matter, like I said, no matter how small, I gotta find something. And that's what I found today. My son ended up picking up some Star Wars figures like Avengers Collection, Kylo Ren, I believe it was, and some other little, uh, more le less expensive figures for like power of the force and stuff which is cool but here let me get to the pickup thing got this awesome kokomo toys bag right here these guys were here were a total impulse buy i think the kind of the price influence me on uh picking these up and these are dragonflies action figures i bought three of them they were priced at five bucks a piece this one was tan it had like the weapon uh but i don't know i just kind of thought they looked Kind of cool and weird, weird toy line. Here, we'll take some of these out. Like this is the villain right here. I mean, you can just tell by looking at it. it. Looks like a villain. And I know these came, check this out, with some kind of like creature that was also kind of like a like a gun and you connect it down here at the bottom and push it and then it they go spinning around. I don't know if I can make it spin. Okay, so the head spins. And then shoots them up in the air. Crazy concept. Funny uh, to have it on an action figure. And I believe in the 90s there was also a girl's toy line that did the exact same thing. I think they were like fairies or something. But I believe they, these guys had a short-lived cartoon series. Uh, but these are the dragonflies. They got pretty cool designs on the wings. So yeah, I kind of bought these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. If I'm going to keep them or display them. I mean, they're in clean condition. Despite not having any accessories. So like I said, I got three of them. Let's take some of these guys out. Here's this other guy right here. They got like these with the wings, of course. And then it'll be cool to find the little creature that connects. It connects uh, down there, you know, <laughs> and it shoots them up. So you're gonna have to like 
plug him down there, if you know what I'm saying. And then this guy right here. This guy came with the weapon. He's orange, real bright color guy. So pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I'm gonna, if I'm going to keep them or what, but we'll find out. Like I said, it was Total Impulse buy. They're only like five bucks a piece, so very cheap. Warriors that fly join forces against evil. They're new dragonflies, posable action figures who pack a secret power, the power to fly. Yeah, dragonflies really fly. Dragonflies on dragon launchers, Zenith, Peak, fly them, crash them against the evil Dreadwing. Now I rule the sky. Dreadwing, you're a dead man. Dragonflies, flight is might. New dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, each sold separately, new from Galoo. These next set of figures are a toy line I've been wanting to get into, but I've always kind of hesitated. I say that a lot about a lot of toy lines because, you know, you get one, you got to get the other ones in the series and it keeps going. And there's vehicles and play sets. You know how it is, guys. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to pick these guys up is because I love the play set. And I'm talking about the Police Academy action figures. The play set, of course, is famous for using the mode of the Ghostbusters Firehouse, the police precinct. That thing is awesome. Uh, kind of wanted for the place that I don't remember the cartoon series these are based off the cartoon series and not the movies I love the movies growing up of course I was a, like late teen you know, but I love them it's the things they're freaking hilarious uh, I'll never let my kid watch the TV series until he's a teenager maybe older than that but I'll let him check out the cartoon series I don't remember the cartoon series at all I don't think I you know, saw it but I remember it being on TV but yeah, these were priced at $10 a piece with multiple figures and little accessories there. Police Academy! This is Jones. Numbskull's robbing the bank. He sold separately. Come in, Mahoney. I'm on the case. Cops! <laughs> I'm out of here. It's karate time. <laughs> hi -ya! Sorry, Taco Berry. Eject! Oh. Look who dropped in. You're under arrest and underwater. Case closed. Where'd he go? I'll blast it! Police Academy. Crash Cycle, Mahoney, Jones, and other figures each sold separately. So this one comes with Zed. And he's look, most of these guys are losers. They don't have any uh, accessories with them. I know he comes with a skateboard, I think. And maybe a hat. And then the other one here is... This is uh, Mahoney, Steve Gutenberg's character in the in the movies. But yeah, these are based off that cartoon series. And uh, he does come with his, one of his accessories, which is the little dog. Little squeeze toy dog. It's pretty cool. So he's kind of complete. And I think in the other the other bag, his gun is in there. There's a couple of guns in here. Let's here, let's see who we got here. We got, we got High Tower, and they're in great condition. Despite missing their accessories, they're great shavers. Nothing really wrong with they're not loose, so they got good paints on them. That's high tower. I think he came with like a scooter. And we got tackle bearing. And I'm not sure what he came with. Maybe another vehicle. I'm not sure. There's another Mahoney in here. Another Mahoney. So maybe a future giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. And there's a couple of accessories down here. I don't know what belongs to who. Let's see, it's like a little holster there for somebody. I don't know, it belongs to these guys. And there's a whole bunch of guns in here. There's five guns. Maybe one of these belongs to Mahoney. I'm not sure, I'm gonna test them out, see if they fit in the hand. Maybe look up some pictures on Google, see what fits to what character. If not, I got a whole bunch of guns right here. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that look at kokomo toys uh, the video does not do it justice there's so much stuff to see in that store their glasses places are just full of toys a lot of them are in, in bags ziploc bags so it's kind of hard to see because they just pile them up on top of each other because they got so much stuff they can't display everything like this in their cases but uh, it's a cool store you definitely if you get a chance to definitely it's worth the visit check it out to see all the stuff they have and it's crazy. So today's today's pickups were Police Academy and Dragonflies, some 90s figures. Which one's your favorite out of these toy lines? Did you collect Police Academy or Dragonflies? Do you collect them now? I don't know. Let me know. These guys are weird. <laughs> like I said, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with them. If I'm gonna keep them or 
maybe resell them or something on my eBay. But uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button to keep up with all the future toy hunts. And also, you can go back and check out the past ones as well. We're on the road to 5,000 this year. Hopefully, we can get it in 2023. And I'll be giving away an awesome signed TMNT figure by Kevin Eastman. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have a great time out there toy hunting. And hope you find everything you're looking for. Until the next one, I'm so cash on. I am out.